What's going on guys, so we're going to find out how good a team of 2015 draft players would be. I did this last year with the 2003 draft, most people consider it to be like the best draft of all time, at least, you know, the last 20 years. And I feel like the 2015 draft has a very good chance to actually become better than that 2003 draft. I mean, that only happened like, what, five years ago? And I'd say it probably already pretty close. So, um, for this, we're actually going to start with the Florida Panthers as the draft took place in Florida. So I figured, uh, why not kind of make that connection there? If you guys are wondering, like, 2015 draft, who was that? That was McDavid, that was Eichel. And I mean, just throughout the entire draft, not only do you have McDavid at the top, I would say best player in the NHL right now, but the rest of that draft too just had so much depth. I'll show you guys on screen right now what I'm talking about, as you can see there. Uh, it's pretty stacked. So Florida NHL draft is the team name, 2015 Arena, top players, McDavid, Eichel, and Marner. Again, not only was the top half of the draft sick, uh, just all throughout there was some really good depth picks. So team overall 92, obviously highest rated team in the NHL as we should be. Three overall higher there than Tampa Bay. I actually wanted to do this video last year as well, but uh, the goal at the time was terrible. I think we would have been starting like a 79 Samsonov and a 65 Mackenzie Blackwood. So uh, luckily both those guys have you know, gotten some more NHL minutes and have basically established themselves and got up in ratings. So now this team should actually be decent. And next year, guys, I'll show you the lines for this team. Again, I think it's pretty stacked. Team stats there, of course, is champion. I feel like we should run the table, probably be Stanley Cup champion. So first line here, Ransom and McDavid, Marner, just unreal. Second line there, you got Besser playing with Eichel and Aho. Third line is Kyle Connor with Barzell and Meyer. And then fourth line, you got Konechny, Strom, and DeBrusque. So, I mean, you know you're stacked. You got like Barzell as your third line center. I mean, the top six there is just insane. Defensively, too, we got Rensky, Shabbat, the top pair, Hanif and Provorov, Dun, Carlo. So, most of them I noticed are actually left handed, but um, a lot of good, young, puck moving offensive defensemen. So, just all throughout, we should be sick. Rensky, Shabbat actually get a plus three, so that's really nice. Like I mentioned, our goaltending is actually pretty good now. Samsonov 81, Blackwood 79. I think this time last year, Samsonov was like a 72, and Blackwood like a 65, 68. So, that's really why I just kind of waited for those guys to get up there. Uh, first power play unit, pretty insane. Eichel, McDavid, Marner, Ranton, and Rensky. Second one as well is probably like one of the best in the NHL. So we're going to be tough to, you know, play on special teams. Four-man power play there. I mean, so much speed with Marner, McDavid. Penalty kill, I think, is really good as well. Both regular and the three-man there. So again, like this team, you look throughout the lineup, we are <laughs> pretty stacked. And this draft was so good. I actually have like half the AHL team filled with players from the draft. So the top six there, Zach, Sorelli, Hintz. Fisher, Bouvier, and Krauss are just six guys that didn't quite make it on forward. Defensively, the top four there, Dermot, Anderson, Bear, Nunevera, again, all from that 2015 draft. And in goal, actually, the third string is Aiden Hill as a 75. So he's actually higher rated than all the goalies were last year as well. So the goalies are kind of starting to come along, which is really nice. I didn't even realize he's 6'6", so pretty big goalie there. We'll see, you know, how they can carry that AHL team. But again, like this 2015 draft, the fact like they're all early 20s still, probably going to just keep getting better is kind of insane. I'll show you guys the captaincy here. Basically, I just gave it to the three best players. Obviously, you know, McDavid's going to be wearing the C. And then I got Eichel and Marner there wearing the two A's. Um, also, I'll show you guys the offense, defense, and goaltending ratings here before we get started with the sim. I feel like we got to have 99 offense, defense, goaltending, I'm not too sure. So, 100 offense, actually. There you go. 91 defense, only 79 goaltending. I'm a bit surprised by that, but it doesn't really make sense either. Blackwood's a 79 as a backup, so whatever. Um, also, too, right there, you guys can actually see the jerseys they made, so the away. Uh, the home, really nothing too special, just kind of default with the Florida Panthers colors. As like I said, that's what the draft was, but let's get started with the same here now and just see how nasty this team is. So a pretty big trade just went down, guys. Minnesota gained two first round picks from New Jersey for Spurgeon and Stahl. I guess New Jersey must be doing pretty decent. Uh, right now we're about a week and a half away from the deadline. Really good record, 38, 15, and 4. So hopefully we can keep this up. As you can see there, first in the Atlantic, which of course is the toughest division. So uh, definitely just telling of how good this team is. Again, like, they're all so young, too. I feel like they probably are all going to go up in rating during the season, which is going to make this team even better, opposed to a 2003 team. They're all kind of veterans. I don't think any of them, you know, obviously young enough to grow. Uh, Pittsburgh here gets Kovalchuk, Scandella for a first-round pick, a couple prospects. LA there gets a first-round pick for Martinez. Not too bad. And so at the deadline now, guys, we have 87 points with a 41-16-5 record. First in Atlantic. Um, pretty unreal. Leading score there, Marner, 76 points. And again, we're using the high setting for the scoring engine. Also, too, I wanted to show you guys this. So, beginning of the year, the first three games, I thought this team might have been terrible. I don't know how, but um, the first three games, 8-5 loss to Tampa, followed by 10-5 loss to Tampa, who's obviously a good team, but 18 goals in your first two games, let in, that's terrible. And then a 5-1 loss to the Hurricanes. So, I mean, we did score, you know, 10 goals in those first two games, but... 23 goals against in three games. Luckily, after that, we definitely, you know, put it together, went 41 and 13 and 5. But 
I was a little bit worried there after those first three games. But like I said, regardless, we turned it around. So within the last month and a half here, and see we end up in the standing. And a preview trade, Vander Kane to Colorado with Dylan for new hook and a first round pick. Um, Colorado giving up a lot there. I'd say probably too much. And here we go, guys. We're at the end of the season with a 56, 18, and 8 record. So like I said, this team is absolutely unreal. I'm not exactly sure how many points that is. Um, like 110 or 120, sorry. First in division and the conference. This team's unreal. Look at that. 97 points for number 97. Um, love to see that. So we'll see actually just how everyone else did. I really wish 95 overalls. I think this three starts anyways, but huge year there for McDavid. Marner, 95. Did he go up? I think he said the same. Ranton, 94. Him and Eichel actually both. That's kind of nuts. And Eichel's on the second line still just producing, but he was in that first power unit, which I think went off. Um, Besser there at 80. Aho, 76. Barzell, 65. Rensky, 55 is a D-man. Pretty impressive. Connor there, 47. Not too bad again. Third line, you can only do so much with the minutes he's given, but um, looking throughout here, like the top guys, you know, obviously carried this team. Goaltending wise, Samsonov, really good record. Same with Blackwood here, who actually had a better save percentage and goals against. Uh, I'm not sure why Samsonov's stats are so much worse, even though he has, you know, a really good record as well. Uh, I'll check the AHL team too, see how those guys did. Um, they should have torn it up. Yeah, Sorelli, 77 over point per game. Hint, 68 almost. Uh, Bouvier there. Borgstrom was actually a Panthers AHL guy. Uh, did better there than Fisher, Zaka. Barrier 46, Anderson 48, his D-man's really good. Kraus, um, Nidavera, so not too bad. Let's check uh, how did Aiden Hill do. 36, 12, and 2, 0.91, 2.18. Pretty good numbers, I think, for the AHL. Uh, next, year, we'll actually just check and see who led the entire league in scoring. I feel like 97 for McDavid, probably not quite good enough. And yeah, Eichel on Buffalo, 110. Are you kidding me? And then McDavid on the Oilers, 103. I'm guessing just our team had too many good players where the other teams kind of rely on those guys a bit more, they get more minutes or whatever, but I feel like we probably won the President's Trophy, the 120 points, I don't see any team, yeah, no, 120 does win it, Washington second, 108, uh, we actually had six teams there, all 100 plus, and we were right, uh, New Jersey somehow made the playoffs, actually eighth in the NHL, which is really impressive, same with Buffalo gets in, Winnipeg is 18th seed, Edmonton 19th seed squeaks in, so last NHL, probably Detroit, and yeah, it's Detroit, 68 points, so only a few back at San Jose, uh, that's not too bad, Anaheim, Ottawa, so kind of the usual suspects at the bottom there but we'll get started with this uh playoff sim now of course uh see we play also guys let's look at the team just see if anyone's grown and only a few guys uh barzell's up one to 87 same with strom to an 84 uh shabbat there up to an 88 hanif in 85 and i think that's it but usually the big growth kind of happen after the season uh not during even though all these guys you know how good they are immediately potential i thought they would be growing a lot more hl team here as well it's first time division and conference probably hl 110 points uh, I mean, that makes sense. They have like half an NHL team, but in the first round here, we're actually playing the New York Rangers. Obviously, they're a wild card team, so I feel like, you know, we should beat them. Our team, like 2015 draft team, is absolutely stacked, and we actually lose the second game, so we're tied 1-1 here, heading to New York, playing Madison Square Garden. Let's see what happens here, and we do win 7-2, pretty uh, big win, 6-4 as well, so just have to win one of the next three. I feel like we should have this, and yeah, there we go. Okay, so we beat the New York Rangers there in five. AHL teams also in the playoffs now. Uh, they have Bridgeport there in the first round. And they've actually already won their first two games, so I feel like they're probably going to advance. Um, NHL team here, I'm not actually sure who we'd be playing round two. Buffalo, okay, so a little bit of Eichel on Eichel action here. We actually win the uh, first game 6-2, to two. that's good to see. I guess our home arena would be like Florida. Um, second one there, 4-3 OT. We lose game uh, three there in Buffalo. Let's see if we can get that 3-1 series lead. And there you go, 5-0, pretty, uh, pretty big win. Samson out with a shutout and a 6 0 win. So back to back shutouts. AHL team here went to the second round. They're currently beating Providence 3 0. And in the conference finals, guys, we're up against the Washington Capitals. So uh, Samson obviously back up on the Capitals. And our team, of course, he is the starter. So, you know, maybe he can prove what he's worth to them. We win the first two there. Looks like AHL team's also on the conference final. Um, let's see if we can sweep the Capitals. That'd be pretty nice. Goal score of all time, of course, and Obi on that other team. 5 4 OT loss, 4 1 loss. Wow. They take both in Washington. Big win there in game five, six, four. <sighs> going to game seven. No way. Okay. Washington. Obi's probably just going off here, but um, we'll see what happens. HL team, of course, still in it there in the conference final. So it's in the first period. 3 1 lead. Uh, Meyer Marner done. And they get one in the second. Are you kidding me? Let's turn it up here. So 3 2. <sighs> I mean, we're out treating them by almost 10. Come on. We just got to hold on here. Almost halfway through, halfway. <laughs> I think he's like a fourth liner. He ties the game for them. Kyle Connor though comes back. Ten minutes left. Come on. Five more minutes to go. It's still four-three. Anybody's game. 
boys, you just gotta hold on here. 16 seconds, there we go. Moving on to Stanley Cup Final. And look at this, guys, in the Stanley Cup Final, we're up against the Winnipeg Jets. Kind of surprised to see them here, honestly, with, you know, how depleted their defense got, but it'd be Kyle Connor versus Kyle Connor. Also, two AHL teams in the final up against the Grand Rapids Griffins, so... Uh, let's see what happens here. I like our chances. Currently 12-5 and five in the playoffs. Jets there 12-9. and nine. And we take the first two. So, I mean, not too bad. We actually got a shutout there. 5-0 win. 5-4 to lost the win. Winnipeg. Okay, so 2-1 series lead. I feel like we have to do it a game at a time just to kind of see. If they take both in Winnipeg. Are you kidding me? 4-1 loss. Wow. 3-2 OT loss. So, are we going to get beat by the Jets here in the Sega Final? N nope. We're forcing Game 7. Okay. Here we go, game seven at home in the Florida arena, which is guess a draft arena at this point. First period, Stanley Cup on the line. There we go, 4-1 lead, Ranton, Meyer, Eichel, Strom. They have Bufflin playing though, so a bit unfair. Wow, 8-3, these guys want the cup. But Barzell, Aho, Meyer, McTavid, Shifley, Line for Winnipeg. Um, we'll just resume here. 8-3 lead though, sure. I feel like we're probably gonna win this one, honestly. I think we can, 8-4 lead, let's just sim it. We put up a 10 spot in the Stanley Cup. Game 7 Stanley Cup Final, you let in 10 on you. That's not a good look. I call McDavid there. I mean, I kind of honestly feel bad. Like, imagine going to Game 7 Stanley Cup Final, you're all pumped up. 10-4. That's a big loss. Of course, this team takes on the Stanley Cup, as they should. I was a little bit worried because the sim can kind of be weird, but this team is so stacked. I felt like it would kind of make up for any, you know, weird things going on. Um, also, to the AHL team there. How did they do? They're in the grab. They also won. They actually swept the Grandpa Griffin, so... We won the Stanley Cup and the Calder Cup. Not too bad. And the large results are in. Columbus there picking first overall, jumping up from sixth. Anaheim second, Detroit third. So not too bad. Columbus there gets Lafreniere. I think they'd be pretty pumped. Oh my God. Look at McDavid's playoff. 38 points, 24 games. That is absolutely unreal. I gotta look at like all the playoff stats for our players because McDavid almost averaged a point per game. Like, or I guess he was 10 back of a point per game, but that's like 1.5 a game. That's really good. Marner there, 33. Eichel, Ranton in. I feel like just that first unit power play was just so good. Samsonov played a lot better in the playoffs, which we kind of needed because like that Winnipeg series was so close. Obviously destroyed them game seven, but I can't believe it even came down to that. So you already know our road there. Uh, Winnipeg, seven against Vegas, then the Flames, then six against the Oilers. They actually had to go kind of through the Battle of Alberta there to face us in the final. They were one game shy there playing literally 28 playoff games, the most you can. So awards here, I feel like we had to have gotten some. Obviously Stanley Cup, Presidents. Prince of Wales, most team awards you could. Eichel there at Ross and the Hart. James Norris there goes to Klingberg. Sam Reinhardt, Lady Bing. McCarr, Calder. McDavid, Conn Smythe. That makes sense. Like you said, like a point and a half a game. Blackwood on New Jersey gets the Vesna. So I guess big reason why they made the playoffs. I can't believe that. Like he was our backup. Honestly, I guess he had to go off though because New Jersey probably shouldn't be there. Uh, Fleury though had the William Jennings. Dumba, Mill Masterton. Uh, Devils coach Jack Adams makes sense. O'Reilly, Selkie. Eichel, Ted Lindsay, and Ovechkin, Risha Shard. So, kind of surprised we didn't get any player awards from the regular season. Like, those guys all playing with each other, I think, should have done even better than they did. Like, they did good, but they should have done amazing. Um, team awards for the AHL, of course, Calder Cup. Regular season point champion. I think we won pretty much all you can. And individual awards there, Sorelli had the most points. I feel like we're going to clean up this too. Um, MVP, Sorelli. Coughlin, most goals, though, as well as outstanding rookie. Forcing there, best D-man. Hill, best goalie. Also got MVP of the playoffs, so... Must have had a good run. Caulfield sportsmanship, more in there, community involvement. Uh, Hill also had lowest goals again. So NHL and AHL teams both went off. AHL team actually took home more hardware, but I feel like they have a little, a little bit less competition. Nodavera led the AHL team in playoff scoring 15 and 17. That's kind of weird to see, but overall, kind of what you'd expect it again. This 2015 draft is just so insane. The fact like these guys are only 22, 23, they're just gonna keep getting better. Uh, I can't wait to see kind of what this draft class turns into, but that's it guys for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.